Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I am at the airport, it's the way back to Sweden, to Örnsköldsvik, Week. And yeah, I am already sitting in Arlanda, in Stockholm. And well, it is only six hours till my night train is going. And I really, really, yeah, was skeptical in the beginning. What am I going to do? Six hours. Well, in total it actually was eight hours. However, my, tri uh, my plane got delayed and so it was seven. I already was talking to a friend of mine for a long time right now, but I actually have a plan. And I will tease you what I'm going to do now by telling you I am watching a lot of music videos. What it's going to be about, I think some of you might guess what it's going to be, but I will prepare a lot of content now that is coming up in the middle of March. I don't really know which day it's going to be yet, but I will tell you in one of the further videos. And tonight there's also the Melodie Festival and final, a final, so I will definitely be watching this and this will be part of this video as well. Yes, um, what else? Well, <laughs> this trip to Sweden this morning was already very stressful in a certain way because actually I had so much luck. The, the plane to Germany was only like five hours before my uh, Lufthansa, the German airline that I was flying with, was striking so that I was not I would not be able to fly during a certain time and they stopped striking today in the morning four hours before my flight was going luckily I could take the flight but the aircraft changed some things were missing so the boarding was stopped at a certain time and then restarted so we had this one hour delay but yeah as I said, I had so much time now waiting for the night train that it was not a big problem for me to, yeah, chill and wait. Yeah, actually, I was also thinking to maybe work a bit today. I don't really know if I will do it. We will see how much time I have left after recording all the videos and also watching Melody Festival and later. But that is today. So I will now skip forward in time and talk to you when it's time for the Melody Festival. Okay guys, it is very close to the final of the Melody Festival and as you can see it is dark outside. I am still in this airport. This airport is so empty at 8 p.m. Like I still have to, yeah, I still have two hours so the whole show to watch and then I have to take my train. Unfortunately, um, I think I will not listen to the final performance after the voting because I am too scared actually to miss my, tri uh, my train which is heading out at 20 after 10 p.m. and I don't know how much I have to walk so I'm still in the area after the security check-in because this is the more comf comfortable area but I will head out if the voting is fully done and listen to the winning performance probably tomorrow I'm at this airport for over five hours already and it doesn't feel like five hours. What is going on? <laughs> Actually, I'm a bit cold right here, but it's not too bad. Maybe I'm just tired and that's why I'm freezing. Not freezing, but feeling cold. But okay, it's four minutes now till the Melody Festival in Finale. My prediction, Marcus and Martinez are going to win the show tonight. I don't, oh, like, I wish they would not win but the odds are so high and it would be a really big surprise when the odds are wrong. They are over 60% in the, in the odds, in the ranking ahead of everybody else. And I'm like, nope, okay. I'm not even thinking about maybe Daughter or Medina taking a lead. But now enough said, let's start the show. Dim, dim, did, dim. It's happening! Give me the intro! Yes, there's the intro! The whole stadium is filled, oh my god! <laughs> okay, the intro was already 
way, way too much for me. Ah, I really forgot how good the song from Smashed Into Pieces was. The song is also really good. But compared to the one from last year, it is not as good, however. Okay, next is Marcus and Martinez, Unforgettable. <sighs> I really don't know why people go wild for Marcus and Martinez. Like, they are good. But I don't understand. I really don't. And the big question, of course, is also, do you really want to send Norwegian people for the Swedish part of the Eurovision Song Contest? I think it's going to happen. <laughs> Next is Dotter. Please be good, come on. Unfortunately, I don't think that is going to be enough. I really don't think that is enough because the end where she like really goes high for the for the best parts. I think it was better in the semi-final than in the final. And that is not enough. But now we have Medina next. Oh, okay, that's also a high chance. Oh, I would love that song. Oh, they really go song after song after song. There's maybe like two minutes break between. Whew, crazy word, crazy world. Again, I just have to tell you how many people are there at this final. There are so many people watching this live in the stadium. Holy smokes. Wow, that was a great performance. And the people went wild. Okay, I think it is now time for the international jury voting of the Mellow Festival. We start with Belgium. What? 12 points to Cassiopeia. <laughs> Okay, that is not what I would have done. Okay, Ireland. Yes, Kesira. Come on, give them the points. Let them win the thing. Okay, next one is Malta to Marcus and Martinez. Ah, dang. We need Medina. We need a party at Malmö. Serbia. Daughter is currently last place. Oh my god. Gosh, wow, <laughs> this is the worst voting. I think it's going to be so bad. Oh my, all my predictions, everything wrong. And okay, Marcus and Martinez again. Okay, now we have Iceland and 12 points to unforgettable. Yes, this is forgettable. Come on. Okay, now it's Germany. Go to Unforgettable. <laughs> you know how this feels like? This feels like the jury voting from last year's Eurovision Song Contest when Lorene was getting all the 12 points. Now it's all the 12 points going to Marcus or Martinez. What is going on? Going to Unforgettable, 12 points, Cyprus, come on. Yes, of course. And I just think it's so weird. Marcus and Martinez were already in the odds, the winners, without even their song being known. How can someone predict this to be so good? I'm so tired, guys. I really, I feel I'm freezing because I need sleep and I don't know how, how good I'm going to sleep tonight in the train. But yes, let's see what's happening now. Okay, we get another recap and then I think it's close to, yeah, telling who's the winner. Now is the time for the final voting from the app and from the telephone. We will see how it goes. I think it is obvious who is going to win. Now daughter, let's see how much points daughter got. Mm. Oh. Daughter failed miserably. Wow. Not even the Swedish people loved the song. <laughs> okay, that, that, that it's so bad. 
I did not expect. I have no words for this voting. I am really shocked. Okay, Medina, Cassiopeia or Marcus and Martinez and like, come on. I cannot even talk with you about those things right now. I'm like mentally already in the train. And I already know the result, like come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Marcus and Martinez. Good luck in Malmö in two months. Enjoy your evening. You too. I'm heading out now. Okay, guys, I am now basically on the run. I have 22 minutes to get to the train. Of course, it's, we are in the same building. This is not impossible, but you never know what's going to happen. So I am rushing, therefore, and I really hope is this thing moving? Yes, it is. But I'm moving with it. <sighs> okay, so... Marcus and Martinez, you have won. Like, unfortunately, super predictable. Last year it was Lorene, and they were second, I think. This year it is. Yeah, Marcus and Martinez. I am still wondering, I said it in the reaction already. <laughs> Why are they, like... I, I don't know, I don't have, to, I have the knowledge about the history, but why are they competing in the Swedish one when they are Norwegian? Like, I don't understand. Why did they not compete in the Norwegian competition? Because they would definitely also have good chances there. Yeah, it's, it's a bit weird, but still, I hope they make a great performance. It's going to be... I think it's going to be good anyways, so now I just hope I did not forget anything, but should be fine. Arrivals this way. Basically, I'm now walking through underground level because there's also an easier way upstairs, but yeah, I just took this way because I guess it's going to be so empty. Uh, yeah, uh, well, what could I forget up there i don't know i think i've packed everything should be fine and if not well it's my own mistake then i wanted to watch the final and now it's over oh but just look it's like it's like a totally empty building why am i talking so silent i can just basically talk openly without worrying about anything oh, okay it should be so fine. I really think I should be really good in time. But safety first, always. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. And just like one of the videos basically started on those escalators, this video now ends on these escalators. In tomorrow's video, you will see how I slept in a night train in a seating de uh, department area. Well, luckily I made it in time, but it still took me 10 minutes to get here. So 20 minutes, uh, it's good to know for the future. But yeah, we will see how the train ride is going to be. It's definitely not as comfortable, as quiet as the last one. Well, just hope that there are not too many crazy people in the train going to the north. And because the Melody Festival just ended, I don't think they took the train. Because the train left in Stockholm at, uh, at 9.55. So that should also be fine. Well, and with all of that said, I hope you had a wonderful day. It is now time to say goodbye. We see each other tomorrow. Bye bye.